Hello everybody, welcome back to Daily Shakespeare. My name is Michael. Today is Wednesday, which means we are taking a look at another one of Shakespeare's villains. And today we are going to take a look at the most controversial villain in all of Shakespeare's canon, Shylock from The Merchant of Venice. Shylock is a money lender, and he lends money to Antonio that Antonio may lend to his friend to go and woo a woman under the auspices that Antonio has no money now, but when his ships come in, he will have three times the sum and be able to discharge Shylock and the interest that he charges. Something very interesting about this play is that one of the reasons why Shylock is viewed as bad is because when he lends money, he charges interest. A practice so commonplace today, there is no institution that does not do it. And while we can argue till we're blue in the face about whether or not these institutions are good or evil, it cannot be denied that this is simply business as usual. So what else is different about Shylock? Well, Shylock is a Jew. And at this time period, Shakespeare's time period, Jews were derided, treated as second-class citizens, sometimes even worse than that. And the fact that Shylock has been able to carve out a nice living is fairly incredible. And this causes people to be jealous of him and to treat him poorly. For every villain, there is a reason. And Shylock's reason is a good reason. The racism that he has been subjected to throughout his life has hardened his heart, has made it so that he had rather take the pound of flesh than Antonio's money, even when the money can be discharged three times the amount. He simply wants revenge. And in the speech we're going to look at today, he explains exactly why. Debate fish with all. If it will feed nothing else, it will feed my revenge. He hath disgraced me and hindered me half a million. Laughed at my losses, mocked at my gains, scorned my nation, thwarted my bargains, cooled my friends, heated mine enemies, and what's his reason? I am a Jew. Hath not a Jew eyes? Hath not a Jew hands? Organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions. Fed with the same food, hurt by the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, healed by the same means, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as a Christian is. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? If we are like you in the rest, we will resemble you in that. If a Jew wrong a Christian, what's his humility? Revenge. If a Christian wrong a Jew, what should his sufferance be by Christian example? Why? Revenge. The villainy you teach me, I will execute, and it shall go hard, but I will better the instruction. Here we have a man who is angry, justifiably angry, at the world he lives in, and the way that he is treated in it. This play is incredibly controversial, because while in Shakespeare's time, treating a Jew as a second-class citizen, asking him at the end of the play, to renounce his religion and become a Christian is seen as a moment for people to cheer. He's good now. The truth is, he wasn't bad because of his religion. Making him change it will not change the man. When you are producing this play, you have to look at 
various other means by which to put across the evil that Shylock does. And there are other speeches in this play where it shows that Shylock's motivations are not entirely altruistic, that he does not worry that his daughter is missing. He simply worries that a large sum of money and jewels is gone with her. Her disappearance means nothing but the things. And being a materialistic prick is a good reason to be bad, Christian or Jewish, especially within the conceits of the play. And at the end, I think it's best that we simply leave out the conversion, that the only condition be that he gives his money to his daughter, his daughter who ran away with a Christian boy and whom he disowned, that he do right by her as his last act. And that's all the redemption that I need. That's all the time that we have for today. Thank you so very, very much for joining me. Please, we have a comment section right below this video. You can leave any questions, comments, concerns down there. I love to hear from people. There is also a subscribe button. If you click that, there will be a new Shakespeare video in your YouTube feed every single day, as there is a new video every single day. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.